Welcome to Royal Vibe. Prince Harry wears Queen Elizabeth II uniform at the same time. Prince Harry wore a military uniform after Queen Elizabeth II obtained special permission from Charles III, but there may be a hidden insult. Prince Harry wore a naval uniform with special permission from Charles III after Queen Elizabeth II, but it may be a veiled insult. Kate and William may even take George and Charlotte to the Queen's funeral. Michael Sheen criticizes the timing of Charles III departure for Wales. Prince William, Queen never trust as more mourners Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie mourn Queen Elizabeth II. Eagle-eyed royal guards in William's uniform spotted a silhouette on each shoulder strap. Not Harry she was heartbroken, a friend told the Sunday Times of London. It seems very intentional to take out grandma's initials. He walked around so much, a friend said, that the prince almost changed into his morning bathing suit to avoid humiliation. An insider disputed the story and denied that an alternate outfit was ever considered, but admitted that the air code had been removed from Harry's uniform. The prince, who stepped down from the royal family in 2020 and lost his honorary military rank, was initially banned from wearing military uniforms. The California Royal, a decorated army veteran who served in Afghanistan, was having a good time marching behind the Queen's coffin this week. A spokesman for Sussex declined to comment. The Duke of Sussex received the Medal of Honor for 15 minutes on Saturday night, along with his brother and six other nephews of the Queen. He was first seen wearing a school uniform in the car on the way to the delivery man, then he was snapped standing next to his grandmother's coffin. Princess Anne's children, Peter Phillips, 44, Zara Tyndall, 41, Prince Andrew's daughter Princess Beatrice, 34, Princess Eugenie, 32, children of Prince Edward, Madame Louise Windsor, 18. Dot last Friday, Charles III waived the edict, allowing his son and his infamous brother Prince Andrew to each wear their uniforms at Queen Elizabeth II vigil in Westminster. Andrew was pressured to abandon his public lifestyle after a disastrous BBC interview in 2019 in which he previously defended his friendship with sex offender Jeffrey Epstein and his lack of empathy for Epstein's victims. But an insider told the Harris Daily Mirror it was an absurd situation given the prince's impressive military record. He served in the military for 10 years, including two active duty tours in Afghanistan, and hosted the Invictus Games, a global transportation competition for wounded, injured and ill soldiers, including active duty and veterans. Page Six fully stated on Thursday that Prince Harry has not requested a change at this time. She was really organized to wear what her grandmother once planned. He focused on respecting her, and that was it. If he wants to wear a uniform, there's no reason to think he won't come, our source said. It's doubtful Harry will be able to wear a uniform to the Queen's funeral on Monday. William and Harry never had a meaningful reconciliation in a week of awkward moments. Prince William and Prince Harry said they didn't have a meaningful reconciliation despite showing reconciliation in their grief last week. The Duke of Wales and the Duke of Sussex attended several concerts after their grandmother's death. However, a source close to the brothers says that despite their united appearance, there has been no major reconciliation. William and Harry's friend told the Sunday Times, concerts take a lot of effort. I used to say, I want to cooperate, but now it's I want to do it, because it's our duty. But I don't think there will be more. There will be some awkward moments this week. I don't have a deeper, more meaningful experience of reconciliation. Or anything like that. Things start